Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away But it doesn't matter channel my name is Sarah of Sarah Mac art and today we're working on a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas so I have a little bit of an idea that I'm going to work with um, I've never done one like this so we are uh, just gonna play around with some leftover paints and I mixed up some Prussian blue by Arteza um, and speaking of Arteza, so this is the Prussian blue that I used. Um, but for those of you that watch me often, or even not at all often, but know this, um, I am a huge fan of their color Bordeaux Red. And I am beyond elated to tell you that they now carry Bordeaux Red in 16 ounces and 33.8 ounce containers. Um, so super excited about that. Uh, it's got a great top, squeeze top. And um, yeah, so for those that you know, this is my signature color. I use this a lot. It is by far my favorite red there is out there. None can compare. And you can literally mix that Bordeaux red paint with nine to 10 ounces of um, Floetrol to about two ounces of paint and it's still spot on, beautiful, perfectly pigmented. Uh, it is my favorite. <laughs> so aside from that, um, we're gonna do a negative space piece here. Um, maybe create a landscape with a galaxy pour, stretch it out, maybe use some ninja swipes in there to add some detail. We're just gonna play uh, today with my leftover paints because I'm going to be moving back to the studio. Um, I've been working here in my home for quite a while now um, due to some stuff going on here and uh, I think my studio misses me. Uh, we'll be having a studio tour as well and I'm looking forward to doing an auction closer to the end of this month. I need to clean out some inventory and uh, make room for some new pieces. All right, so what we're gonna do is negative space up here. We're gonna use some Prussian blue. We're gonna use TLP's velvet as well that I have mixed up here. Um, and what else? So the TLP velvet, I think this is it. Here it is. 
It gives a beautiful shimmer um, against dark colors. So we're gonna have some fun. Let's do a skyline. I've got some white, I've got coral, I've got turquoise, I've got aqua flash. Maybe not aqua flash. I'm so sorry. I do not have aqua flash. I have um, iridescent blue green by Pebeo. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have some fun with color today and we're just gonna get to it. Uh, so for those of you um, who might be in the Florida area in October, uh, the Fluid Art Boutique will be doing another event down there in Delray Beach. And if you want to learn this technique, this is something that we're going to be doing uh, in one of my classes. Uh, the website is below in the video description box. And um, yeah, anywho, check it out. We have seven total amazing artists, and that includes me. Um, and... Uh, so many classes to choose from, which is even more wonderful. We are very blessed to have the artists that are with us. Molly of Molly's Artistry, Michelle Galley of Grateful Creations by Michelle, and the lovely Erica Hughes is flying in from Ireland. So if you wanna meet any of those ladies, sign up for classes on our website, fluidartboutique.com. And of course, we have Kathleen Osmore, the talented Karen Durishan of Waterfall Acrylics and Mina Villegas of Mina Villegas Art. So we would love to meet you um, and go from there. All right, enough of that. No more infomercial. We're just going to start doing a flip cup, dirty cup style pour here. And uh, what else can we add to this? Let's see. Uh, all right. We'll add a little bit of a uh, bright aqua green in there. Let me just stir it. There we go. Like I said, leftover paints. This is a great way to utilize them. And just use your stick to stir it up just a bit. And we're gonna flip the cup. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is we're gonna stretch it out a bit, corner to corner. But I don't want it to go over just yet if it doesn't have to. I really wanna get a lot of the negative space on there. Just working it back and forth. And then we'll cover those corners, perfect. And then I'm gonna bring this down towards me and then work it again off the edge of the canvas and off the other side, which you can't see, so I do apologize for that. We are gonna be doing a Galaxy Pour landscape class in my class. Um, and this is gonna be similar to what we're gonna do. Similar. All right. So I feel like I've gotten enough off of there so it's not too much. And I'm okay with the leftover paint running off of it. Make sure your edges are covered. So I have about two thirds of my canvas covered with this paint. Just getting over here in this corner. I just wanna make sure everything is completely covered before I move on. Okay. 
All right. Let me get some paper towel here. Just wipe my hands. I'm not going to torch it just yet. Or actually, I will. I'll torch it now. It doesn't really fully matter because I am going to stretch it out a little more um, for the detail. Kind of looks like a starry night going on here. All right. So next, because we're done with that cup. Next, we're gonna layer up a cup with uh, multiple layers. And when I when I say that, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Actually, maybe I'll do two smaller cups. And I have a series of different colors going on here. We have deep turquoise. We have a Prussian blue with a color shift in it. Maybe use that, not quite sure. And I have iridescent green blue. Let's put some coral in there. Okay, let me get that stick out of there. There's the stick. Um, and maybe do two galaxy pores down in this area. I also have green. And this is, I believe, peridot by Extreme Sheen, and maybe a purple. All right, and when I pour, I'm gonna make sure that I'm kind of overlapping the, um, not really negative space, because there is something going on there, but the skyline, uh, because I don't want any gaps between the canvas and puddles, so I'm gonna kind of go right here on each side maybe you know move them a little bit and uh, see how it goes so we're gonna start with a little bit of white in each cup and they're not gonna be done the same so I'm gonna layer them a little bit differently Let me get that cup out of the way so there's no confusion. I'll come in with that right there. These are all my leftover paints. So this is a good way to get rid of them. And um, I actually store my paints, I keep them in the same container, but then I also, um, let's do some gold in here. Um, it's gonna drizzle that in. I also just put sandwich bags over them. I get a lot of questions regarding how I store them. And these paints have been here for weeks, so I have not had any issues. And let's see. Well, let's put a little more, let's put a little velvet in there. Why not? We got to use it up. Some coral. I'm going to come in with some Prussian blue. Do a bit of bright aqua green. And some gold. Now let's see what we have left here. So we'll put the Prussian blue over there because I don't need that right now. Um, I'm going to do from a top a little bit of the green and just pour it into the center of that cup. And we're going to get these out of the way. I don't want to add any more purple. The purple can take over. 
So, golden coral. And we'll just add some more white. So I'm going to come here. Let's do a little traveling, just a little. And then we're going to do this one. The leftover, let me just do something because I do have some leftover paint in this one. And I really kind of liked the outcome. All right, we'll come in with this also. And I'm gonna do it right here because, well, it just seemed a lot of green and navy blue. Again, we're just playing with paint, nothing too particular going on. I'm gonna give these a torch. Definitely dig in this puddle a bit more, but we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come in with my swipe stick. And then we're going to come over here. That. And just get paper towel. Because a lot of this is going to be tilted off. And this is exactly how I wanted it to be. So. I'm going to bring that right off. Maybe some of that. This area. I don't think I want to ruin any of that. I'm not ruining anything, but you know what I mean. I don't want to wreck it. I kind of like how it's a lot different than the other one. My only concern is once it stretches out, we could lose a lot of that composition, but we'll play it by ear. So we are gonna start by maybe coming off over here. I do not have to add a flow extender because I have a bunch of paint on there. Now, the key to this is how to tilt it and keep the weight of your paint fairly happy. Now I'll come down. I gotta balance that. There we go. We're gonna come down to this corner. I don't like that gray area, so I'm actually gonna leave it just as is. Take that right off. Now here, I love this. This is fun. Definitely like what's happening here. Kind of think I need to move this right off and just bring this over to here. Mm, let me see from your perspective. 
yeah, definitely got to do that. So I'm going to just move this off over here. We do have excess paint to do that. So Drip and paint on the floor. All right, let's give it a torch. I'm not wild about this, so let's just see how we do here. I see a beautiful rolling green, and then whatever that is. So <laughs> we're gonna try and, and angle something here. Let me see what we can do. Get rid of that. Let's pull out another cup. All right, so let's get in here. We're gonna layer up the green or the white, and then it might be too much white. There we go. I'm gonna come in with the Pebio. Green, blue, blue, green. Just, just a gorgeous color. And then we're gonna come in with some of the gold. Let's do some Prussian blue. Some coral and white. Any other color? Let's add some green so we can kind of marry that into whatever is going on. All right, so I'm going to come in uh, right here. We're gonna leave whatever's in that cup in there for now. I want the leaves to show up. All right, 
I think we're just gonna leave that as is and see what we can get. come up there because I want to stretch those out a bit. And we're going to bring it down. So, I love this. This is really, really, really cool. I think I'm going to bring in more of this in here.
some of this. Okay. Um, ah, let me see here. Do you want to merge this? A little bit more cleaner. and blue. Yes. All right. I'm going to bring you guys in in just a moment. All right. So here is the final result. I'm loving this area in here and this area over here, the added gold. And then I took my stick and I thought I was still on camera, but I wasn't but I brought my smack stick in and drew lines up to represent some trees. And overall, I think this has turned out beautifully. Over here, I see like a lake or a pond with greens, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I know there's an awful lot of green going on in here, but the details are so pretty. So we'll show the dried results in this piece in my next video maybe, or the upcoming one after that. I'm gonna let it dry first and I plan on painting again. All right, guys, be sure to check out the Fluid Art Boutique at www.fluidartboutique.com to sign up for classes uh, with either Molly Leach, myself, Kathleen Osmore, Erica Hughes, Michelle Galley of Grateful Creations, Mina Villegas, Karen Dorishin, and uh, yeah, I think I just named everybody. Um, that's going to happen October 8th, 9th, and 10th in sunny Delray Beach, Florida. We hope to see you guys there. Bye. All right, so here are the dried results of this piece. It is so pretty. Um, I love how uh, I got some, I think it's a uh, fluctation. I don't know, I can't think of the word right now, but it makes it look like there's little grass in here. Um, so that was really, really, really cool. I love the end results. I actually don't think this looks like a lake anymore. I kind of think that it looks like a cave um, on, the, on the edge, so I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I just love how this is a, a landscapey style pour. There's so much you can do with these. I've got the trees in here that I created with um, one of my smack sticks. And I thought I was on camera, but I wasn't. But anywho, we'll show it in an upcoming video for sure. Um, but yeah, super happy with the end results here. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.